Oh, good morning, Mr. Fowler. Good morning, Mr. Stein. Another letter from Australia. Oh, I haven't heard from my boy for six months. You excuse me, won't you? Sure, sure. Well, I hope it's good news, Mrs. Power. You know we all miss the boy. Thanks. Hi, man. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hi, Mr. Farmer. Oh, good morning. Left me enough today? Oh, yes, that's handy. I just received a letter from my boy. That's well. Is he still in Australia? Yes. Do you know where Brisbane is? You mean that guy would write to call for the examiner? No. It's just town. Well, you can't prove it by me. Morning. Good morning. Morning, Miss Farmer. Good morning, Tommy. You think I'm good? Oh, go on. You don't like cookie. Tommy, do you happen to know where Brisbane is? No, ma'am. Well, you go over and ask your mother if I might have that almanac of hers. You bet. Want me to wait for you there? No, thanks, Daddy. You run along to the bank as I'm going in and have a nice long visit with Mrs. Palmer. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Did it, Miss Fungman? What you looking for? I want to see about Australia. That's where my boy is. Gee, I want to get zone. I like to go to Australia and places in the way he does. Oh, I'll bring the book back. Okay. Good morning, Mrs. Turner. Good morning, Marguerite. I was just hoping you'd come by today. Why? Did you get an letter? Give my love to everybody. That means you. You think so, Mrs. Connor? But why does he write me and tell me so? Well, you know, Barbie never was much of a one for letter writing. Brisbane, Australia. That's the first one you've received from there, isn't it? You know, I can't understand why he never sent me an address. Maybe he's traveling all over the world. Bobby always was one for Cavan. No. He had to go away from here, where he had a night position in your father's same. He went to New York, and I didn't hear from him for months. Then the first thing I knew, I got a letter from Sydney, Australia. Now don't you worry, dearie. He'll get tired of wandering and come back to a Sunday. they be rich and famous. Oh, I know he will. Remember when you took that? Yes. That was on your 16th birthday. I can see you now. Out there in the garden, holding hands. When he came to say goodbye to me, I tried in tears and kept his sister. Almost two years ago, 
I wonder if he still has the other hat. Truck coming back. Hey, boss, give me a hand with this, will you? As soon as they unload the truck, get busy. And it won't be long now. Don't be a fool, Lefty. Give me a hand in the bark. Wait a minute. Pack your truck up to me. The heavy truck, all right. We'll need to be. Come on. I'm not dog. You're yellow. No, I'm not. You're a bunch of fools. You'll never make it. You can't get away with it. No? Straight back. Come on. Easy now. Now cut a little bit of the left. That's it. Cut a little bit of the left. Bag it up. Back for left for the... That's it. Wait a minute, Brad. Come on. That's it. Easy now. Now come back, easy. That's it. I'm ours. In and eat the dough. Man, come on now. A little bread. Oh! Polly oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on.
part of the dark to you from a machine gun. I'll get back to you up there. Oh, Oh, sit down, won't you? And give me the willy. Gee, if these last couple of hours that it's the terrible. Sir, you think you will go to the chair? In place of going out through them big guineas? Now, I know it, Lester. I'm nervous as a cat. I've almost forgotten what freedom is. Hey, you was right, kid. We were a bunch of tuckers stringing along with Nakati. I wish you were coming with me, Lefty. Well, I don't know. The old kid, all the pens I've been in, this is the best of all. Good old, their bed. He's to a creep. From now on, I'm gonna treat it like home. You know, I'm just wondering if I'll ever get the feel and the taste and the smell of prison out of my sit. Sure, you. You're just 50. You know, I've learned a lot. After two years in prison and a jailbreak, you're no longer a kid. This number 487 in the ante room, sir. I'll see him in a moment. Been there. That's the kid. University of Smith. He goes out today. Interesting case. Yeah, darn it, remember. I happen to be the one that picked him up. And that was only two years ago. Well, he got time off for good behavior. He should. You know, he should have never been sent off. He wasn't guilty. He was merely the tool of a bunch of gang. I believe you. Did you ever see one of these? The boy came to me shortly after he was sent here and showed me this ad. He told me his mother had no idea he was in prison. Would it be all right if he had his letters sent through this agency, so that she would never find out. And you let him? Sure. We have 1,800 men here, and I guess there'd be 1,800 mothers happier if none of them leave. You know who this known is? No. A blackmailer that I've been trying to get something on for a long time. But I'm happy about the boy. It's been a great lesson to him. So long, Jim. Watch your hurry. Oh, I've got to be getting back, did he? So long, Bender. 
You might tell him to send Smith in on your way out. All right, I will. Thank you. Remember me? Yeah. You picked me up. Sore? No, I'm not sore at you. I'm not sore at anybody. Glenn, though. Come in, Smith. For that. Here's your ticket home and the usual allowance. Also, your personal belongings. Thank you, sir. You've been with us nearly two years. And during that time, I trust you've learned that crime does not pay. And I hope you're determined to live a straight life. Yes, sir. Does your mother still think you are traveling in Australia? That mailing agency was on the level. Then you'd better announce you're coming home. My boy, you're about to go out into the world and to begin life over again. The no shortcut. Cutting corners will only bring you back where you start. Give every man a square deal, but above all, be fair to the man that's you. We're trusting you, you know. In offering you this little book, I hope you find in it the help and inspiration that others have. That's all. Thank you. Goodbye, Smith. Best of luck to you. Goodbye, Warren. Look, time. Pardon me, but this isn't that the prison? Yes, I think it is. I saw perfectly grand sizzling movies of it. Ever since then, I've been crazy to go through one. Wouldn't you like to go? Well, uh, that might be pretty interesting at that. What time do they put the diner on? You know, I'm hungry. Well, I don't know. You see, uh, I, uh, I haven't been traveling on this line much lately. Oh, look at that. I'm not following you, son. Don't get rattled. You know, some people have family, but I happen to be going home, too. Oh. I guess I'm kind of nervous. 
I'm not used to freedom yet. Take it easy, kid. Wait a minute. Dr. Magazine. Thank you, Mom. We want to let a mail for uh, Brisbane, Australia. How long will it? before this is delivered. Four weeks gone and four weeks coming back. Yeah, okay. Guess that'll be all right. They're marvelous. Oh, Beauty, I'm not calling Mother V. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. Billy Vane for to what that. The three channels rather than uh, just the moment for you, Ned. Hello? Oh, hello there, Mrs. Palmer. Oh, no! Isn't that perfectly marvelous? Oh, I'm so glad. I'll be right over. <coughs> oh, Nellie, isn't it thrilling? Bob Connor's coming home. I'll bet his mother's sickle tea. Poor darling, she was so excited she could hardly talk. And that's Mr. Forrester. He's been waiting ten minutes. That's nothing. I've been waiting for all this two years. The late image Shannon. Sorry, Jimmy, but I called it a song. It was very important, too. Good news, judging by the smile. Wonderful news. Guess is coming home. Bob Palmer. Oh, really? Aren't you glad? Thrilled to tears. I want you to take me down to Mother. Delighted. Yes, Mrs. William. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm calling up all our friends to tell them the good news. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to call up Mrs. Martin. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dental, give me uh, main 678. Hey, listen, Mabel, what do you think? Bob Palmer's coming home. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Hold your heart, dude. Hello, Mabel. Yeah, he is. His mother just received nearly. Darling, he'll be waiting. Why, I just had to bake these. He melted them so. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder if these changed much. Oh, I'm sure he hasn't hurried to long.
Bobby? Yes, Mother? It's dead and yet good to see your thing pay around here again. It would be here to hang them around again. A note? Yes, Nobris. The kid is busy on petting. Yes. Now remember, you to come after you directly after dinner and tell Bob to bring all of the souvenirs from Aunt Jania. Well, all right, darling. Yes, yeah, Mother. Isn't it just come to ready? Oh, I'll be right out. The work. Mongoli wants you to bring over those souvenirs. I'm unpacking them now. Oh, Bobby. It seems so wonderful to have you home. What? It's like a dream. I just can't believe it's true. I'm all right. Now you run along. I'll be right out. You did that wonderful? Yes, I've been looking at it. What a weird looking thing. Well, where did you get this, Bob? Or well, that? Why, uh... Oh, I picked that up in a native village away up the Murumbaji River. Murumbaji? What a name. Sounds like a fairy tale. Well, it's a river 1,500 miles long. You can look it up on the map. Oh, my dear boy, I don't doubt you. You were there, weren't you? After all these adventures, Bob, you think you can settle down in a bank again? You... You mean you're going to give me back my job? Why, of course. Andre Jim. We made Jim a vice president in your absence. And Mr. Shannon, I don't know how to thank you. It's wonderful of you. It's awfully stuffy here tonight. Let's go for a spin in the car, Marguerite. Well, I, uh... Oh, perhaps you'd rather stay here and listen to some more marbles about the Marumbaji. Oh, I know what we'll do. Let's take Bob Old and show him a new bridge. All right. We'll be back in a little while, Daddy. So they finally built a bridge over the old creek, did they? Yes. But I warn you, it's not nearly so impressive as your bridges in Australia. Jim. Darling. How do you do? How do you want to be fives and ten? Good morning, dear. Good morning. You're quite a stranger. I've hardly seen you in the last few weeks. Bob, well, bring me the MP ledger. There's some accounts I want to check over. How are you, Mr. Rowe? How do you think I am? See you tonight? Miner, I'll stop by and drive you home. Well.
Now I'll quit your stall. What are you going to do about it? I'll take care of it as soon as I can. Oh, you've told me that before. You've got my IOUs. What are you worrying about? That's just it, Art. I am worrying about your IOU. You get your money, all right. We're telling me. Well, why don't you say something? Well, there's so much to say, and I'd say it so badly. Frau. I brought something for you to read. Read? Why read? Very interesting. Well, are you interested in predicates? You no, know, you, you, you see, I, I, I was... Bob Thomas, are you trying to propose to me? Yeah. Well, I'm waiting. Oh, then why are you She can watch your quarter be to cry. To cry? And he's been asking me for weeks what to the mayor. He has. Boss, look at the tarings. Do we better go? Mm -hmm. I guess we'd better. I'm sorry, but Why, I... Why, it's for you. How you doing, Miss Shannon? You know you were going 65 miles per hour? Oh, isn't that awful? We won't do it again, though. You know, I ought to give you a ticket. Oh, no, officer. You see, we just got engaged. That's how to make you forget to speed, Lord. Well, when the cape writes that, I guess it's all right. Oh, you're a peep. We have to get her to the wedding. That's fine. Okay, but be careful. Large. I think you'd better drive. Why, Bob? What's the matter? Well, I don't have a license. I might have gotten into... Oh, one would think you committed a crime or something. Come on, darling. Let's get started. Just the same. I wish you'd drive.
Good morning, Mr. Palmer. Remember me? Very well. What do you want? And how are all the folks in Australia? What do you want with late? No. Just a little chat about the good old days in Brisbane. Well, I can't talk to you here. I'm sorry, but you have to. I've got a train to get. No, thanks, uh, I spoke to God. That's a lot of bunk about Thomas two years in Australia. Well, he said he brought enough chocolate back to prove it. Well, I have to know something may interest you, Detective Black. I've written a letter and I should hear from it in a few days. Letter? About what? Well, if what I've written about happens to be the truth, I'll have plenty on Mr. Bob Palmer. I'll need to call on me if you need me, Mr. Forreston. I'll be calling on you, Black. How do you do? Good afternoon. Forrester in. Well, yeah, so you're busy with Mr. Shannon. Can I take a message? Yes. Will you tell him if Mr. Rowe with him? Well, I'm getting pretty darn tired of waiting. Mr. Rowe. Good. All right. Thanks, I think. Yes, sir. Visiting here? Yes, for a few days. Right, very right. Good looking car. Oh, yes, sir. It sure is. That's about the prettiest car in town. Yes. Yeah, our dad gave it to us. He's the president of the bank, you know. Yes. You know. Hello, Marty. Hi, Rob. Gee, I wish there were more Saturdays in a week. Well, where will we go, Bob? Well, let's go to house, honey. Oh, lovely, Ned. Well, sir, after that, Bob Palmer came back from Australia. I'm happy to be. Yes, sir, Mr. Forrest. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <gasps> that's, um, that Forrester, he's a vice president. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's sweet on Mitch Shannon. But Bob Palmer came home and <laughs> is he burning up? <laughs> he's going into the mansion house now. We got a big game up there every Saturday. Gee, you ought to get in it. They say it's plenty steep. That's a good idea. Okay. Ellie Thorbert, do you look out this afternoon? We'll drive you over there tomorrow and let you see it. Wait a minute. I'm teaching you to bake now. Next, I'll teach you to stow. Then you can think about buying a house. All right. Uh, I'll get that. That's not the way to do that. Let me show you. Put a little more snap into it, like that, see? Oh, you darling. You're just a nuisance. You're no help. Say, won't it be swell when we have a kitchen of our own? You won't be so keen about it when you have to help me wash the dishes. Oh, I won't mind that, so long as you're there. Bobby, there's a gentleman in the living room to see you. Oh, where is it? Oh. I don't know. 
I'm dealing with an old friend of yours. Somebody from around town, dear? Well, wasn't anyone I recognized. Well, all right. What do you want? Just a friendly little visit, kid. What are you following me around for? I told you I was going straight, and I have. That your mother? Listen, Bander. She doesn't know about that stretch. It'd kill her to know. All right, all right. I'm not saying anything. Well, then what are you following me for? What are you spying on me? I'm not on parole. I'm a free man. And you want to remain free, don't you? I'm going to get married. So I hear. You've got a good job at the bank, too, haven't you? Yes. Well, that's fine. Oh, gosh, don't they smell good? You take them in the other room and invite the gentleman of the state to bring it. All right? Oh, Bo. Mr. Bender, I'd like you to meet my fiance, Miss Shannon. I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Shannon. How do you do? She's been helping Mother make cookies. Have one? Thanks. Hmm. Now that explains that. I found. Mrs. Connell would like you to stay for dinner. That's mighty nice, but I've got to go. You're not fine. Very good. I hear you're no friend of ours. Oh, yes. Bob and I were pals in Australia. Weren't we, Bob? Yes, we were. Isn't that lovely? Excuse me a moment. Surely. Mighty nice girl, Bob. Well, Bob, I'll have to be needy. Aren't you staying to supper? No, thank you, Mr. Palmer. I've got to be on my way. Oh, I, I'm sorry. So am I. I have some more cookies. Well, thanks. These are wonderful cookies, the best I've ever eaten. Are you leaving town, Mr. Bender? Well, I expect to leave soon. Well, good night, Mr. Palmer. Good night. It's been a pleasure to meet you, Miss Shannon. Thanks. I'll see you to the door, Miss Tommy. Like my cookie? I never heard you speak at him before. No, I don't think I ever did. Oh, come on, children. Now we've got to have our dinner. I'm going to get some more cookies. All right, Bob, you pour the water. Therefore, is bed 20. Miss Dick. Give me another stack. You need the bad brakes, Forrester? Yes. There you are, Forrester. That makes yeah. it fine. And now let's have a new deck. Uh, good idea. Good idea. They can change my luck, too. your plan. You can double up over there with Woo, which is half paying me. I'll take care of it, but you've got to give them more time. Well, now get this. You pay those IOUs before tomorrow or else. Oh, that's fine. Oh, Bob. A 
Have you checked over the pedestal for Carl Jeff? Not yet. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Does he know? Well, the usual rush. I think it would be a good idea if he did it tonight. Well, all right. If you say so. Oh, mother, I have to work tonight. I would be home for dinner. Would it be very late? Well, yes, fairly late. Oh, I'll, I'll get something needed to the buffet. And now for right long after it. Bye, right, bye, dear. Not through yet, honey. Will you be too by a I hope so. Well, Dad and I are taking your mother to the picture. They'll call for you after the show. Perfect. I'd like to be a good sport, Mike and Soda. Very extravagant, girl. All right, come on. Hello, Mr. Bidnick. Hello. I'm going to keep a card tonight. No, thank Not tonight. Well, I think I'll try my luck. Good luck to you.
Oh, here it is. Clark King's terrible. This town's getting as bad as a big city. Oh, let's hurry, Dad. I know Bob will be waiting. We do enjoy it. Well, I, I thought it's very good fit to do. Jim. Hello, Chief. How are you tonight? Oh, pretty good, thank you. <laughs> Don't move, Connor. What are you doing here? I'm afraid you'll have to do the explaining this time, Mr. Palmer, alias University Smith. So that's why you didn't object to working tonight, eh? Planning another trip to Australia? Well, it won't work this time, Mr. Ex-Convict. What's the man in here, Pirates? I caught him robbing the bank, arrest him. Enough. What's the matter here? I caught Palmer robbing the bank. He was stuffing the money in his bag. What's your story, Bob? Well, I was working on the books tonight. I finished about a half hour ago. I found I'd forgotten my cigarette and came back to get them. I found Mr. Forrester in the vault. Be here, Black. Are you going to take the story of an ex-convict or wretch here? <laughs> There's Mr. Shannon and the Silver now. Call them in. Let them see what a dirty crook he is. I don't have to identify myself, Black. Now take a look up there. Tell Mr. Shannon some men, Bob. And you take your girl around the block for a ride. Wait a minute. He hasn't explained that alias Smith bill. I'll explain that, Black. Go ahead, Bob. Thanks, Mr. Bender. I arrested University Smith myself. He died nearly two years ago. I was with him at the time. But I looked up the record. This fellow uh, Lewin, who was here, I think here, Mr. Lewin. This was merely a case of mistaken identity. Uh, Palmer and I were in Australia together, while the University of Smith was serving time. We've been tampering with the tape. I'm afraid it was your vice president, Mr. Shannon. Here's something else that will interest you. 